In the first reading today, we hear Almighty God speaking through the prophet Isaiah. He says, I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. And this word <clears throat> in the Hebrew, which I forget and doesn't really matter for any of us anyways, um, basically the, the Redeemer is that closest relative that you have that if uh, something goes wrong in your life, they would be there to step up and take care of it. So for instance, if um, you were to be uh, uh, captured and, and ransomed, that they would be the ones that would have to organize to get the ransom together. That if, um, if you were slain, they would be the ones that would go and seek justice for, for your cause. That they would be the ones that would be uh, reaching out in order to, to help you and, and your cause. And so God says, I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. Not only is He the one that's there for your cause, but He's saying, I am your closest relative. I am your closest relative. At Mount Sinai, we hear about how uh, Moses uh, sacrificed the animal, took the blood and sprinkled it on the people. And then on, uh, I forget if it was the covenant or what it, the Ark of the Covenant or what it was, but something that was a symbol of Almighty God. And he basically saying, you're of the same blood. And now in the gospel, with Jesus, he's given us his blood. We are his closest relative. He is our closest relative who is seeking out our best. I love this. Um, today as we celebrate St. Juan Diego, when Our Lady appears to him, she says, uh, Juanito, Juan Dieguito, these tender words, the Ito at the end is, basically means little, but it's like instead of calling you John, it's Johnny. Johnny. When I was growing up, um, I had an aunt that always called me Vonnie. Oh, Vani, at the time, I did not appreciate it. I really, really did not appreciate it. She thought it was just, you know, a, a pet name she had for me and that I liked it and all this stuff. And it drove me nuts. <laughs> Finally, my parents told her, he doesn't like that. Oh, no, he likes it. No, he, he really doesn't like that. <laughs> but... <laughs> Despite the fact that I didn't like being called Vani, sometimes within a family or within a spousal relationship, what don't you have these pet names for each other? That you can call them, but nobody else better call you that. Like uh, uh, for the funeral that we have today with, with, with Dorothy, with Dottie, she called, you know, she called her son-in-law Eddie. Well, I was told, don't call him Eddie, it's Ed. <laughs> don't call her son Bobby only she can call him Bobby she, it's okay for her to call him Bobby he's Bob <laughs> these, these things that um, these pet names and Our Lady says to Juan Diego Juanito Juan Dieguito am I not here who am your mother that she takes care of us that we have this closest kinship with Almighty God. And as we're struggling with the evil that is in our lives, whether the evil coming on us from the outside or the evil that we struggle with within, when we keep turning and remembering that close, intimate relationship that Almighty God has with us, Won't that just take care of everything? Won't that just draw us close to the heart of God? If we remember that He is our Redeemer, our closest relative who is going to be up to bat for our cause, can we not then get rid of all of our anxiety and fear?